Hi there, this is Sriga Nasari. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the various uh, relational operators, uh, which are also called as uh, comparison operators uh, in Java. So first, let me launch the idea. We know that we are using uh, NetBeans 8.0. Takes a moment to load all the time. It's loading since my system is a little bit uh, ancient. Loading all the modules and all the stuff. Here we go. Okay. So, first, let me create a new project here. So, find new project. Uh, let's say Java, Java application. Let's say relational. Okay. So NetBeans has the privilege of creating all the uh, defaults here. It creates us a project with all the uh, class file and main method, everything. So I'm just getting rid of all the comments which we get uh, by default when we create a project. I'm just setting the indentation. Okay. So the relational operators, so let's write in a comment here, so relational operators in Java are going to be like this. First one uh, is greater than symbol, uh, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to, double is equal to and not equal to. Okay. So these are the various uh, relational operators uh, or comparison operators, operators also called as, let's write me that in the comment also, also called as comparison operators. Okay. So these uh, uh, define a relation between uh, two variables, uh, like uh, if you take uh, two variables uh, A and B. Uh, it has the capability of deciding uh, whether A is greater than B or A is less than B, whether A is greater than or equal to B, whether A is exactly equal to identical to B or whether A is not equal to B. Okay, So you can define some relation between uh, those two uh, variables. So these kind of operators are often used uh, when we learn about the conditional statements uh, in a couple of lessons. Okay, So to, to demonstrate, uh, so how to build a relation or build an expression using this relation operators. So let's take two variables here. Let's say either one and let's take another variable int i var 2. Okay. So to keep it as simple as possible, uh, let me uh, take assign some values to either of them 4 and 5. So let me uh, take uh, system dot out dot print and statement directly. Uh, and I am writing out, writing it out. Uh, the some I am building some expression using this relation operator. Here. Okay, so if I say I were one uh, greater than uh, I were two, okay. So if I say something like this, so what happens here is, so if you run this tiny little program, it's taking a moment. Okay, so it says the output says here false. Okay, so this is the beauty of uh, uh, Java uh, programming language. So it interprets this uh, relational expression which was built using the relational operators. So here, uh, i where 1, the value of i where 1 is 4, and the value of i where 2 is 5. Since 4, uh, this is interpreted like this 4, whether 4 is greater than 5, which is equal to false. Okay. So conditionally, uh, or if you take this expression, so this is 4 is never greater than 5. So for that reason, uh, uh, it's uh, throwing out the result as false here. Okay. So in the same way, uh, we can build uh, uh, different expressions using the different relational operators here. So let me uh, copy this. Uh, let me copy the same thing here. Let me copy the same system out of statement. Again, let me paste it here. Okay. Paste it all the times. Okay. 
Okay. So greater than, then again now let's say less than. I'm just uh, keep on uh, uh, building the expression here greater than equal to, and let's say less than equal to, and let's say double is equal to, and again let's say uh, not equal to. Here, okay. And again let's say not equal to. So these are the various expressions I have built uh, using uh, the relational modulus here. Okay. So if I run this uh, tiny little program, so it evaluates according the result according to here. Okay. So if you observe the second expression, the second statement here, so four is always less than five. So for that reason, uh, it's throwing out the result as true here. Okay. So in the same way, um, so four is neither greater nor equal to uh, five. Uh, since for that reason it says false again 4 is less than uh, since uh, what either one of the thing is true here since 4 is always less than uh, 5 although it's not equal to 5 so either of the one is true so for that reason uh, you're getting it as true here okay so uh, 4 is never equal to 5 so for that reason uh, we get the expression is evaluated as false and also the 4 is not equal to 5 so for that reason uh, it uh, evaluates as true here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, relational operators uh, in java okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye